Hey beauties and gents. So I am back with another tutorial and this time I'll be doing one of my favorite natural looking makeup styles. This look will be entitled Made in the Forest. So if you're interested in trying it out and learning more, stay tuned. So hey guys, I am starting off with a fresh face and I'm just showing that off to you all. I'm going to be starting with my Milk of Magnesia as a primer. I love this stuff because I put it in all my oily spots, which is basically my T-zone, and it mattifies my skin so well and creates a flawless finish with my pores and everything after I apply my makeup. So I just blended all of that into my T-zone area, and next I'm going to go in with my eyebrow spoolie to brush out my brows to create some kind of form <laughs> to work with when I do apply my makeup. So I'm going to start with my Sephora concealer in shade Ganache. And I just used a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush, concealer brush, and I'm just going to start with my arch and start in the middle and then come all the way down and then towards the front. And I love this concealer because as you can see, it's so rich and potent and a little goes a long way guys, so you don't need a lot. So I'm just starting with the bottom and then I'm gonna take it to the top, making sure to carefully outline my natural brow and get rid of any other um, portions or create a better look for my brow and concealer works when you don't you forget to get a wax or when you don't have time to get your eyebrows waxed this is a good method to make your eyebrows pop even when you need it um, and so now I'm going in with my elf concealer brush and blending that into my skin and it's kind of old so that's why it looks like that but I love that brush <laughs> And next, I'm going in with my angled brush, and I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow in shade Chocolate. I was trying to show you all, but my camera wouldn't focus. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna start off with a little bit. Like I said, a little goes a long way. And I'm gonna start towards the back of my brow because I like my natural gradient looking brow. So I like to keep it that way. And so I'll start in the middle and take it back and then I'll bring the access forward. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the next brow and do the same thing. Start. So I'm starting in the middle and I'm just gonna continue bringing it all the way down meeting the end of my brow and then bringing the access towards the front. And I'm just gonna continue doing that. And I saw a little mess up, so I'm just gonna take my concealer brow and, oh, I'm sorry, my concealer brush and my um, concealer and just fix that brow really quick. So next I'm gonna use my spoolie just to brush in that um, Anastasia dip brow into my actual brow to make a more natural look. And this also works well if you have like a boxy look, like if you put too much product on, it helps the product smooth out into your brow so that it doesn't look clumpy and it doesn't look like you just plop that on your face. <laughs> And I'm just fixing anything that I see that I have missed to begin in to begin with. And next I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Toast as a highlight. And I'm just gonna use a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use that same concealer brush <clears throat> and just focus on my eyebrow arch. Bringing it all the way down and coming forward. And this is a good technique if you want to wear it just alone or if you want to make your eyebrow or your eyeshadow look pop. And that's the goal that I'm setting for this look. So that's why I'm using this as a highlight for my eyeshadow to pop. And I'm just focusing on the bottom of my eyebrow. Right, and then I'm using my 
concealer brush and I'm just going ahead and blending that into my skin. Alright, so next I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer Color Correct and I'm just using a few dabs on my eyelid. And I'm going to use that same concealer brush and I'm going to pat it into my skin. And this works well as a primer, as a color corrector, in order to hide any dark marks, dark shades. It also blends well with any foundation, any other concealer. It's just everything. LA Girl did their thing with this color corrector. <laughs> and so I'm just continuing to pat it in my skin. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques sponge pad in order to make sure I have a seamless look. Okay, and next I'm going to start with my Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to start with my Real Techniques blending brush. And I'm going to use that dark burgundy shade and start on the outer corners of my eye. And I'm making kind of a V shape in that outer corner because I wanna create like a smoky look. So I'm starting only on the outer shade, making that V look pop. Next, I'm gonna take my Vasanti blending brush that I got from an Ipsy collection bag and I'm just gonna blend that out. This is gonna be my blending brush. I'm just gonna blend that all the way into my skin making sure that look is seamless. And blending is key, ladies. You'll hear me say I blend a lot because blending will definitely help your looks be natural again and also make it not look choppy and like you just slapped it on your face. So this is my handy dandy brush cleaner. It's basically a sock bun holder and one of my friends showed me that by just wiping your blending brush on it, it cleans all the eyeshadow off of it. So I love using that. And I'm using that burgundy shade from the Huda Beauty kit to go on top of that dark shade and I'm using my Real Techniques brush again. Next, I'm using the blending brush to blend that look together because blending is key. <laughs> I'm just blending, blending, blending. And you can use as much or as, as little eyeshadow as you want, um, but I was going for a real dramatic look, so that's why I put a little bit more of the darker shade um, around that burgundy shade. And I'm using the same Real Techniques brush and that same blending brush from Vasanti. To clean it up okay and then next I'm going in with that tannish shade and I'm just going to put it on top of the concealer that I applied on my brow bone to make that look pop this also will lock in that concealer so that you know throughout the day if your face oxidizes or if you know you get water up there it won't look as though you know you just had concealer and it also brings that look together already so i'm just blending that out And then next I'm going to start with my Juvia's Place palette and this, I didn't show you all but okay here I go. This is the Duce palette and I'm going to start with this shade. I'm going to use my blending brush by e.l.f. and I'm going to start with the outer corner of my eyelids, the upper outer crease and I'm going to use that brush cleaner to take all the excess off and then I'm just gonna blend it out blend it out so I'm gonna start with my urban decay potion eyeshadow primer and this stuff is like crack it gives me a shimmery look under the eyeshadow primer and it also is great when you apply it less is more see that shimmery look is so beautiful i love this stuff 
and I'm just applying it to my crease, not bringing it all the way out to the outer part portion of my eye, but just focusing on my crease in the middle portion of my eye. And you can wear this alone. You can wear this with makeup. You can wear this as a highlight. This stuff just works so good that I will wear it for anything. <laughs> So I'm using that Real Technique sponge pad again, just pressing in that eyeshadow primer a little bit more to make sure that when I do apply the makeup on my eyelid that it blends well with that primer. So continuing to blend. And I'm going to take that same um, eyeshadow primer and apply it in my inner eyelid a little bit more to make sure that that really stands out when I do apply my eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm taking my Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. So I'm using this concealer brush just to pat in that eyeshadow primer just a little bit more because I noticed that it looked a little bit choppy on the top so I wanted to make the look a little bit more seamless. So I'm just pressing that into my lid a little bit more making sure that I don't take too much of the eyeshadow primer away because I still want that bold look on my crease. So next I'm going to go in with my Zakia shade and this is from the Juvia's Place Magic palette and I'm going to focus on my outer lid and just apply that with my Wet n Wild shading brush or blending brush and I'm going to do the same thing to the other eyelid making sure that I'm focused on the outer lid. Okay, and I'm going to use that Vasanti blending brush again and just blend that in with my already made um, shadowing, smoky eyeshadow look. So I took away a little bit too much of the Zakia shade, so I'm just applying a little bit more where I took it away from. And I'm going to use that Real Techniques blending brush. First, clean it off a little bit. Make sure that I don't have any uh, residue. And I'm going to go in with the shade Baronu from my Magic palette. And I'm going to use that in my inner eyelid crease, bringing it towards the outer portion. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other brow. And as you all can see, that potion blends so well with this Baronu, Baronu shade, which I love, cause I love a gold look. Okay, and I'm just blending that into my eyelid. Next, I'm gonna go in with that Wet n Wild shading brush. And I'm going to go back with my Huda Beauty and I'm going to use that orangish tint and I'm just going to highlight the around my brow bone and around my nose arch just to create a seamless look right there because I won't be able to get makeup right there. So I'm just going to highlight that area so that when I do apply my makeup, everything looks seamless. And I'm just using that blending brush by Vasanti again to blend that into my skin. Next, I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Smoky Eyeliner brush. And I'm going to focus on the outer corner of my lower lid with that darker shade from the Huda Beauty palette. And I'm going to blend that portion out with the Vasanti brush. Okay, 
and I'm gonna clean that smoky eyeliner brush off and I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go back in with the Baranu shade from my magic palette that I showed you all <laughs> and I'm going to do the inner portion of my lower lid and I'm just gonna blend it on out and I'm using my favorite elf eyeliner um, liquid felt tip and I'm just gonna start in the middle making a as thin as I can line um, and I love a nice wing look so that's the look that I'm creating and I've been doing this for years so I can do a wing look in 2.5 seconds so if you all need help I could slow it down for you all or give you another video of how I do the wing look but I'm just doing this quickly for the sake of the video making sure that that line is as close to my lash line as possible because I will be applying lashes and I don't want my eyes to look too dramatic with the lashes and a bold eyeliner <laughs> wing look. So I'm doing the other eye, making sure to be as careful as I can not to mess up the eyeshadow that I already have down. And I saw that I kind of did mess it up a little bit, so I'm gonna try to clean it up as best as I can. And I was just trying to put some more makeup right there to hide the mess up that I did. Which probably only I would see, but it still irked my nerves looking at it. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up by bringing that inner, um, the inner line to meet that middle line. So I'm just checking to make sure everything looks the way I need it to. And I think I have the look down pack. So next I'm going to use my Dulce um, eye, eye mascara that I got from an Ipsy kit. And this stuff works well, very well actually because it maximizes my lashes, it elongates them, and it also provides a good protein um, to help them grow. So I love this eyeshadow mascara. I'm um, not eyeshadow. I love this eye mascara. <laughs> and I'm just working it into my bottom lashes as well. And it's so compact that I love it so much. So I'm just cleaning up that look a little bit. And next I'm going to use my Opulence Lashes by Kiss Brand. And these are actually mink inspired, so I love them so much. Like they are definitely one of my go-to lashes for any look that I try to accomplish. Okay, and so I'm showing you all the lash strip adhesive that I use in shade black. And I'm just lining that lash line to make sure that the eyelash glue gets all on the band so that when I do apply the lash that it stays in place. And I allow that to dry by either fanning or blowing on it for about 20 seconds to make sure that that gel is tacky enough to stay when I apply it. So I'm putting it on my lash line as close as possible and I'm using my mirror to make sure that I get it as close as possible as I can to my actual lash line but not on my lashes. And the band on these lashes are so 
great like they're so thick and black and they hold the glue so well that I don't it doesn't take me long to apply the lashes so I'm just going in with my tweezers to press that those lashes into um, my lash line a little bit more to make sure I have a seamless look and make sure that my natural lashes blend in well with the false lashes and my eyes leaking a little bit so I'm trying to get that before it drips too far okay and then I'm just going in with the next eyelash applying that glue along the lash line as well and I'm just gonna dry that just like I did the other lash for about 20 seconds and blow on it a little bit making sure that that glue is dry enough to start applying and so I'm going to start by pressing it into the middle of my lash line and carefully placing it on that lash line and not on my actual lashes. Sometimes my nails help, sometimes they don't. <laughs> so that's why I always have my handy dandy tweezers to help out in case they don't. And I'm a super perfectionist when it comes to lashes because I hate when they're falling off and I hate when they don't look natural and I've struggled with lashes for a long time and I think I'm coming close to mastering it <laughs> I'm getting there but me and my lashes sometimes be babbling it out so take your time So I feel as though I'm liking this look. So that is the completed eye look. So next I'm going to move into my foundation routine. And I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in shade 365. And I'm going to use a dab on the back of my hand to make sure I'm not using too much product. And I'm gonna use my stippling brush from a makeup kit that I got a while ago. And I'm just gonna focus on putting that on my cheeks, around my eyes, on my forehead, anywhere that I see that I need a little bit of color fixing to blend in with my eye look. And this foundation is really good and economical. Um, I found this actually at Walmart and um, I haven't turned back since. Um, this makeup is really good for people with oily skin, people with really sensitive skin, and also for pe people of color because it matches your shade as best as any other um, foundation from Sephora, from MAC. And it does a pretty good job with lasting throughout the day. Um, I would say I've been using this for a while and it's definitely made me a believer to drugstore products so I never knock a drugstore product ever it's between Maybelline elf and wet and wild they're my go-to drugstore products oh and also real techniques <laughs> and so I'm just blending that into my skin Blending that well, making sure I didn't miss anywhere. And it may look a little bit lighter than my skin right now, but by the end of the video, you'll see how I blend it out and make it look seamless. And I'm making sure no parts of my body are left behind. So I'm making sure to blend all of that makeup even into my neck because sometimes my neck can be you know a little bit darker than my face so making sure I get all of those areas 
Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Loose Powder. And this is going to be in the shade Translucent Medium Deep. And when I tell y'all, this product is everything. It is everything. Like, I don't even, what are pores? When I put this on, it's like, what are pores? Do I even own any pores? Like, I don't know what pores are. Can you explain to me what they are? <laughs> this stuff works magic. And I only use a little bit. As you can see, I put a little bit in the top. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Pointed Brush to focus on my, um, underneath my eyes and as well as my t-zone area where i'm normally used to getting oily so i'm just gonna press that into it and as you can see it's a flawless finish and a accent to the foundation that i already applied like it's so seamless and it's so natural looking that you just can't tell that i even have on makeup i love it it's not cakey it's not too much it's very light and it also applies well on any foundation so next I just showed you my true complexion um, contour palette that I use in shade deep and I'm gonna go in with that darker contour shade along my um, my um, cheekbones or underneath my cheekbones along my hairline and I'm gonna take it towards my jawline And I'm going to be using another pointed brush to blend that in to make this look blend seamlessly with my foundation. And I'm going to blend that into my jawline. And blending is key, as we all know. <laughs> So next I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Illuminizer on the go. And this I use as a highlight because it's kind of like a rose gold tint. And it looks so well with my natural shades, especially when I use any shade of gold. And I'm just gonna use my fluffy brush to blend that on out. My large powder brush to blend that out making sure that it blends well into my skin and taking my time and as you can see it's already starting to make my look pop and I'm just showing you all how in the light it just reflects so easily I love this illuminizer Okay, so I'm just using that burgundy tint with another pointed brush from Real Techniques just to give myself a little bit rosier shade because my eyelids are so rosy and dark. I want to make sure the rest of my face blends well with that. So I'm using that large powder brush again to blend it all into my face. So I'm just cleaning that pointed brush off and I'm going to go back in with the highlighter from that um, dark contour kit from Black Radiance that I have and I'm just going to use that highlighter on top of the illuminizer that I use just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and stays in place and I'm going to use that large powder brush to blend it all in as well. that highlight is popping and I was looking for something to clean the back of my hand off but I couldn't find it so next I'm going in with my nude shade um, it's just a regular lip gloss from Victoria's Secret um, and it's kind of like a light pink shade but it looks nude on me so I love it so much and yeah that is the completed look and I'm just showing off for you guys basically how the look looks when it is all completed and yeah let me know how you like the video i know it was a bit lengthy i apologize about that <laughs> but let me know if you liked it where your comments was and please 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 subscribe the more people i have the more i feel i need to make more video so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye